Hello folks, welcome to my talk on Testflix 2023. Uh, thank you for uh, the Test Drive uh, team to bring such nice sessions for the QA community. Uh, myself Siddharth uh, and I have around 12 plus years of experience into automation, DevOps, cloud, different technologies, mostly revolving around the automation QA profile. And currently I am working as an um, SDET. Today's session is going to be very exciting because you are going to get a career path uh, on how you can shift your uh, career from an automation QA to SDET, first point. And second point, we will discuss that what are the tools, technologies or tech stacks you need to learn so that you can swiftly move from automation QA to an SDET, right? So let's start. First of all, um, let's try to understand that what exactly an SDET does. SDET usually works to solve the problem around both the development process and the QA process. That's where the main difference lies between SDET automation. Automation QA mostly involve in uh, solving the problem around QA process, maybe automating a test kit, designing a framework, right? All those things. But SDT will focus both on QA and development, right? So he will figure out that what are the gaps in the development process and what are the gaps in the pipeline, right? What are the gaps in the QA? And then he will come up with the solution. But that's not only the job profile. Along with the solution, SDET needs to provide a proper plan with HLD, LLD, architecture design of the solution. And the, when I talk about solutions, it may be a package, right? It may be uh, a tool, right? Or it may be a small enhancement. Let's take a small example that in your pipeline, there is no way to measure the coverage. So now as an SDET, what you can do, you figured out that, okay, so this is the gap that the coverage is not being calculated properly. So as an SDET, you will just suggest that, okay, we can uh, consider Jacoco, which will help us to define the coverage properly. So he will come up with a plan. So how, how to implement that Jacoco or how to create Jacoco in a way so that it will help you to calculate proper coverage in your code and integrate it into the pipelines right similarly let automation qa has created the automation suit but we figured out that this automation suit has been created but if there is failure still it is proceeding further in the pipeline right why because there is no proper checks has been established so now as an sdt what you need to do you need to come up with a plan that how i can put a check in the pipeline so if the automation failure is greater than 80 percent is then my pipeline should block over there one more major important point, mostly automation QA starts their job after unit and integration. They come up in the phase where the integration is completed and functional testing is started, so they try to automate. But SDET should start from unit testing. Does that mean that unit testing needs to be written by SDT? May not be necessary, but he should be the one who will go through the unit testing and make sure that the coverage has been properly provided, all the education has been added, null check has been added, all the small checks, exceptions has been handled properly. Why? Because SDET understand the dev code too. You should be very good in uh, pipeline, you should be very good in finding gaps. And when I say finding gaps, why SDET can find gaps? Because he has proper understanding of both the world, right? So he can easily find the gaps and he can come up with the solution. And not only the solution, he can come up with a solution which can be easily scalable and can be consumed by multiple teams. Now, let's first understand that, okay, you are an automation QA and you want to move to uh, the profile of SDET. So what are the things you should first focus? Maven, API, Git, Jenkins, Docker because you need a proper build tool or dependency management knowledge that is Maven so that whenever you create a solution, create a package, anything or you try to understand a dev pa package, it is the first thing you should uh, come across, right? Second one is API, very, very important. As an SDET, as compared to UI and mobile, API has much more priority because as an SDET, it is expected for you to involve in API backend service integration testing. That's why API very important. Git, of course, because you are going to contribute in dev code, QA code, you need to manage them. So proper knowledge of source code repository management with Git is very important. Fourth, as we discussed in the first slide also, pipeline. You should have very good knowledge in pipeline. I have written Jenkins because most of the folks used it. 
but it is not constrained like okay you have can only learn jenkins you can go with anyone you can go with uh, circle ci bamboo aws code pipeline anyone is feasible but very good knowledge in pipeline because as an asset it is part of your job to fix the pipelines to understand build deploy test how to put checks and everything right fifth docker very very important as an asset why because you need to uh, manage the test environment correct you need to manage the test environment you need to also contribute in the docker file creation or if there are any deployments failure you need to go and fix it right it's not like as that will not uh, fix those things right you also need to fix because in many organization we don't have devops so if your team doesn't have a devops you should pitch in and act as a devops person you should fix the issues right you should create the environment right for example dev is working they don't have proper bandwidth you go and create a an environment for them right so they can first test and then you can uh, kind of uh, create another environment on top of it for qa right so now we are going to see that what i should learn in the five technologies that we have discussed before so maven as i told dependency management what you should learn you should learn about build life cycle you should learn about plugin configuration profiles and properties repository management and dependency management those five areas you should target when you start learning in the maven next one is git as i told right so in git what you should focus you should focus on version control basics for sure git workflows right branching and merging very very important you should have proper knowledge of branching and merging because you may be the person who will find the gaps i have found it many time you should be the person who will find the gap and prepare a proper branching strategy for your project right conflict resolution you should be very good in this right because not only you will solve your conflicts you should also help the automation qa working in your team to solve the complex conflict faster right and git hosting platforms right github gitlab bitbucket so those five areas you should focus while preparing for coming to the jenkins what you should learn you should learn job configuration because you may need to create jobs pipeline as code integration with version control because whatever uh, code is there in git you need to bring that git code into your jenkins and then you run your maven uh, or uh, gradle goals right plugins and extension very very important okay because there are many plugins and extensions in jenkins or ci cd tools you should aware of those right so that you can use it efficiently correct scaling in jenkins is very important right because you may need to deal with a very large project having a, a lot of uh, automation suits and test cases so scaling and distributed builds is very important okay this is one of my favorite okay unless you are good in api backend service it's very difficult to sustain as an sdt because that's where the dev also need help qa also need help right so you should understand api fundamentals very thoroughly you should have proper knowledge on api architectures api testing api documentation because see as an as that you can't ask that give me the api documentation rather you should be the person who will create the api documentation for your qa for, last one is the automation tools right automation tools or libraries correct so this five things you should be very much clear or pro while working with api concepts next thing is in java or any programming language many folks ask me that what i should learn in java because java is too vast before jumping into ds algo and all those things make sure you are a pro in string array list map exception handling why i am again and again using pro because it's not like you just know how to run a loop in array and you are done no you should have proper knowledge you should have every implementation of list and map you should know about hash map you should know about linked hash map tree map right everything you should be clear which one maintains succession order which one not why array list why not linked list everything same when we talk about exception and link be a pro in try catch throws right inside catch how to put the um, uh, loggers right how to use the wands correct all those things you should put proper focus so when you want to excel in estate role this five things is very very important what are the five things design patterns architecture sorting time space complexity let's come to architectures this is my favorite topic always target this four okay service oriented architecture microservice architecture monolith architecture so microservice client server should be very very good you should understand which is microservice which is monolith because unless you understand it's difficult for you to implement the proposed solution to fill the gaps right design patterns very many time i i've been i have been asked this question that what are the design patterns i have focused there are a lot of design patterns so as per my knowledge i would suggest those are the patterns which we use regularly pom factory builder singleton observer again you may ask what are the patterns i should focus first as an sdet 
singleton builder okay let's go to the sorting very controversial and very important topic that how we should learn the time and space complexity and sorting always remember when you are learning time and space complexity sorting goes hand in hand if you learn both the things together it would be very easy for you overall quick merge bubble this three short are very important this three types of sorting so when you are learning sorting try to focus in this three first right but always remember those are not very much mandatory with the first five text stacks i have given string array list map exception and link if you are a pro you can manage to work those are added advantages but you should also learn this one but at the maybe you are five years or eight years of experience working as an sdt then you should definitely consider those things right less than five years don't take much stress be a pro in the five things i have previously discussed from java right sorting quick merge bubble searching binary linear hashing now we are done with this section some folks comes to me and say that okay everything what you told we already know what next so in the what next cloud technologies infrastructure as code very very important if you are using aws you could go for cloud formation right ctk there are many infrastructure as code because you should you may be the one who will write this one correct cloud technologies infrastructure as a code sonar cube very very important because your static code analysis will be done by sonar cube operational excellence if there is any gaps most of the gaps we, you can found from operational excellence right operation excellence and last one is ai ml ai ml is picking up in the market right that's why <laughs> little bit of knowledge in this one will help you so thanks for watching the session right and if i always used to write on all those topics on my linkedin so this is my youtube channel where i put lot of interview question and answer you can check that in medium i used to write very nice things okay recently i have written a very nice one on sorting okay you can go and check that this is my telegram group because sometime you cannot follow every post on linkedin so i used to uh, share all the linkedin post on my linkedin uh, on my telegram right and this is my newsletter and uh, you can get lot of things around what i have discussed today on my newsletter too so whatever i have discussed i have tried to merge everything into a course okay this is my uh, course which i provide which has api ui mobile generative ai jenkins git docker i try to club everything which is important right along with design patterns architectures everything i have clubbed everything into this course so if you want to learn whatever i have discussed you can just go through this uh, link and you can enroll for this one this one also includes one to one uh, doubt sessions and i will take mock interviews pair programming session because those are sometime important right uh, to figure out the to how to crack the coding grounds and all so you can check this one and as i told whatever i have discussed everything you can find in this talk details and important links just go to this docs okay this link okay you will find all the i have given all the links right what to learn in maven uh, for everything i have given a blog link you can go and learn and i have a very nice course on generative ai uh, in collaboration with test drive obviously and thanks to anurag and mahesh for that right uh, who has uh, helped me a lot while creating this one and it is doing very good so if you want to uh, avail this you can go and click on this link